Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about how to build landing pages for your final expense Facebook ads. I'm gonna be giving a full tutorial walkthrough of it and I'm gonna be giving a walkthrough on how to install your Facebook pixel code into your landing page so that you can track your conversions and so that Facebook can make your ad better. Now I'm gonna get a couple differences, get into a couple differences here between the landing pages and the Facebook lead ad campaign. The main thing is that if you use a Facebook lead ad campaign, like you can find in my video, how to make final expense Facebook ads, the link's gonna be in the description of the video on how to look at that. That's the base video for it. Usually when you start off on a basic Facebook ads campaign, you have a lead form that Facebook creates. So someone sees the ad on Facebook, they click on it, and then it has a form that pops up that has some pre-populated information of the person who's clicking on the ad. Now that they stay on the Facebook platform, the information's pre-populated, and they're limited in the amount of inf information that they can see. It's just to capture some information about them, and then you get that information. Now, with a landing page, it's a little different. So what happens in this case is the ad looks exactly the same. It's the exact same ad, but instead of Facebook having a page that pops up, they get pushed to an external page. They get pushed to an external website where they can fill in the information. You can provide them with a little bit more information on what they're purchasing, and it, you can make it look a little bit different. I have found that there are two sides of the spectrum here. Facebook lead ads will get you higher volume, and they're easy to set up, and a lower cost per lead. And I found that landing page leads which are through conversion campaigns, landing page leads actually have a higher higher intent and they uh, I tend to convert more of them even though they cost more money. So it's a fine line between, hey, the cheaper Facebook ones, it's gonna take more to convert or the landing page ones, they cost more money per lead, but I don't need as many to convert. I found that I preferred running landing page ads, ads that push to a landing page. But I started on the Facebook lead form because that, that was easy and I got it set up. And then when you build the landing page, it's a little bit more complicated. So if you wanna build a landing page, by all means, watch this video, look at the watch the whole tutorial, but you're gonna wanna purchase a landing page build. I recommend Unbounce. You can check the link in the description for that. Please guys, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. It's extremely important you do that. You hit the bell. Not only does it help me, it helps you because you're going to be alerted whenever I drop content on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and I have my telesales Tuesday at live at uh, every Tuesday live at 5 p.m. So I hope you like these tutorials and these walkthroughs. Once again, like the video, ask any questions as well in the comments, and I'm looking forward to see how these results help you guys. Okay, so this is how you create a landing page for final expense life insurance. Exact walkthrough. I love this program. It's unbounce.com. It's my favorite landing page creator. <clears throat> I prefer unbounce over uh, click funnels or really any other one that's out there there's a couple reasons why number one i love how with unbounce you can verify that it's a real phone number and the thank you page is also great too so i'm going to show you how you create a landing page with unbounce so it's pretty simple you just hit create you log in to your main page and you hit create new up here by the way if you want a discount to an unbounce subscription just click on the link in the description of the video It'll have my Unbounce affiliate code, and you will be able to get a discount to your Unbounce membership. And actually, if you just get the Unbounce site, if you get the membership, I will email you a free copy of my landing page that you can use in the creation of your landing page for your Facebook ads or YouTube ads. This works with YouTube and Facebook. So literally what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you how to build it from scratch. So you click here, click start with a blank page and you hit start with this template. We're gonna put page name, we're gonna put uh, YouTube uh, viewers, this is for you guys, not YouTube ads, YouTube viewers LP landing page. So start with this template, okay? We're just starting with a blank page here. So it's super simple. Uh, what you can do, you can add sections, you can add boxes, you can add text images, buttons, light box buttons, which is pop-up buttons, forms, embed video stuff like that so what we're going to do here at first is we are going to add let's just drag this down a little bit you want to keep your landing page super simple guys you don't need anything crazy extravagant i have the most the highest percentage of captures on something that's just super simple so you may think you need all this stuff explaining how fancy your product is you really do not need anything like that okay so i'm going to show you how you make uh how you, how you can make this so it's pretty cool. Uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is go to this right here. 
we're going to put a uh, text. So we're just going to drop some text in. We're just going to put the text right here, okay? And I'm going to move this over here. We're going to align it. You can align it with the middle just by clicking this. And here we go. And you're going to double click this text. And we're going to put we're going to put style as a heading, okay? That way it looks a little bigger. And then here, let me see. One second, guys. Okay, so here we go. Put yes. Very simple. Yes, I would like more information on final expense programs. Or if your ad says burial programs on state approved on the new state approved burial programs okay so we're going to do is just make this line it up again here then we can also have this center and let's just make it a little bit bigger there we go so it's all neat and clean cool you can change the color of this if you like uh, it's very simple to change the color you just change the text color here the highlight color there so say you wanted to do it um, yellow with a black highlight, then you can do that there. And it will, oh, whoa, no, 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 no. We're gonna do highlight color there. Never mind. I was thinking it would be a, a, a shade, but never mind. I, I've never done that. That's why, as you can tell, I just keep it, keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. K I S S. So, yes, I would like more information on final expense burial programs, or state approved burial programs. Now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna make this heading as paragraph. I'm gonna put some basic information is required to generate your your request however your information is kept private and will not be sold or shared with any third party vendors so this is just to keep people safe and secure that we are not going to be selling their information here make it a little wider Put it in the middle, there you go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more text here and we're going to put something else. So let's just do heading two and we'll do, please verify your information, then click learn more or get quote, or whatever it be. Learn more to receive your information cool spelling error put this here okay so it is taking shape here now what we're going to do we are going to put a form okay so we're going to have a tap for the form we're going to have a first name which i'm just going to change to name and we're going to put name okay because i don't like first and last name because it's just too much to type so I'll put name, and then we're going to put phone number. And this is actually gonna be a required field. And then phone number, we're gonna validate phone number as North American. So it'll validate that it's either a landline or a mobile number in North America. I love that feature. And you make this a required field as well. And then you can also put a text field, single line text field. You can put a state of residence. And you put required field, and then in the placeholder text, you put state of residence. So the placeholder text is just what goes in here. Phone number, I'm going to do this here, phone number. You can also put best number to reach you at. That's fine, too. Uh, and then if you want to put a favorite hobby, you can. So favorite hobby. Favorite hobby. And then you can make that a required field as well. You can put any of these as you want. They have first name, last name, eight, phone number, age. See, I, I put age instead of date of birth because it, it's like date of birth, they have to put more, they have to type more, okay? So when they're on date of birth, they're gonna be like typing on their phone, but I recommend, highly, highly recommend that you just have uh, age if you do it. So say we're gonna put age in there. I don't have age on mine because 
I'm assuming that most of the people who apply, I'm going to call anyway. And even if someone put that they were 89, I'm going to call or older than 85 or older than 90, whatever pro- the age limits of the products you're selling, I'm still going to call them to see if that's their age. But this is just if you did want to put age, then you could do there. And you could have it as not a required field, and you can have any of these not required fields. So I'm going to put done. And okay, cool. So a uh, little bit of reason here why I don't put a bunch of um, fields on the form. I'm going to show you why. Because if we go to mobile, we're going to have a mobile on. Okay. We're going to want everything here. And then we're going to have this right at the top. We have this in the middle. This in the middle. We'll bring this up. Bring this up. And this here. And then bring this up. Put it in the middle. And then this form button. Put this in the middle too. Okay, so I'm going to show you why. Because if we hit preview, okay, uh, we're going to hit save, and then we're going to hit preview here. Come on, preview. It's going to show us. Okay, this is perfect. So we do not want any more information than this because you want all this stuff right here, and you want them to be able to hit this button at the bottom. So you do not want anything else. On here, like you want this, this is called above the fold. So this is called the call to action right here. This is the call to action. This is a call to action. Please verify, then click learn more. And you want this to say learn more. We're going to change that. But if they have to scroll down to see the, the button, there's much less of a chance that they're going to submit the lead form. Okay. So you want to have this here with this button right here. Okay. So we're going to go back to edit this. And I'm going to do it on this page. So there's a desktop version and a mobile. We'll do the desktop first, and then we'll just modify it for the mobile. It's fine. And we're doing here. Okay, cool. So form button. What we're going to have it be is learn more. Okay. Now, there's some other things that we're going to want to put on here. Like uh, I like to have little arrows. So if you download images of arrows with no background and you put them here, you can have them pointing at learn more. You can have this be, uh, you can change the font if you like to like a different font. You can have it be all types of different things. You can just change the, the layout of it and how it looks and the colors. But I just found the typical black and white works really, really well. I get about a 20% conversion rate, which I think is pretty darn good for a landing page conversion. Okay. So, okay. And here we go. Okay, so now that we have learned more, now what we're going to have to do, this is called form confirmation dialog. Okay, form confirmation dialog. So when they hit learn more, what's going to happen is it's going to pop up in the form confirmation dialog. So it's going to say, thank you, your form has been submitted. So thank you. Now, what I like to do here is put a call to action, another call to action to get them to call me. Okay, so but thank you. Uh, it appears you qualify for some additional discounts and benefits. Call now to click below to call now and claim these discounts while they last. So, okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna change the line spacing a little bit we're gonna put the line spacing. I could always do a new text, but when you hit line spacing, see how that makes them closer together here. Let's see if we can do 14. There we go. I like to have them close. I'm gonna put up here. Thank you. Maybe change the font. Make it look something different. Uh, they don't have many. You can add fonts, whatever. We'll just keep it as uh, Arial. That's fine. So thank you. I'm gonna do it bold, italicized. Thank you. It appears you qualify for. Here we go. Cool. So that's right up here. Now, what we're going to have in this call to action, you're going to have a button, okay? So you're going to have a button right here. And I would make this button as fat as possible, as fat as you can possibly make it. And you want to make it so that people will actually click this button. So what I would do here is I would have it be click here to call now. Okay? What you can do, too, action will be call a number. Uh, and I would put the area, the, the, the country code, and then put your number, okay? You put your phone number there. And let's just make this button look a little, little, little better. 
So we're going to put text color border. Let's put a border. Let's put a solid border. And let's make it a, a four. So it's solid like that. Corner radius. Let's make it like, like this. So it looks kind of cute. And we'll do the text. Okay. We'll do a, so we'll do the, make the font a little bigger. Click here to call now. Okay. Maybe we can change the color. And we're going to do, let's see. Uh, I wonder if you can change the color. Nope. That's it. So we can't change that here. Solid color. Cool. And all right. Sweet. So what this is going to, you're going to want to have buttons pointing to this as well for people to click to call. Okay. So you're going to want to have, have the, uh, I mean, the arrow is pointing to that for people to hit that button. So what I would do here is you can put an emoji in here too. Phone. There we go. Let's see if how that works. There we go. Click here to call now, right? Boom. And then if you have two arrows, big arrows on either side pointing at it, then that's even awesome. That's even better. So we hit save. We're going to go to mobile. And then you're going to want to make this down a little bit. Okay, align it up in the middle. See the desktop. Form confirmation. Make sure the page lines up. Everything looks pretty. Okay. We're going to save this and we're going to preview this. So save. Preview. We're going to see how the mobile looks here. Okay, cool. So if someone goes to this, they fill it out. And put phone number, favorite hobby, painting age 47 whatever hit learn more and then boom this pops up and then they can just click the call so if you have this button here with some arrows I'm telling you, you're going to generate a ton of inbound calls doing this but this is how you create a landing page for your final expense facebook leads for your conversion ad so i get much better conversions doing this than i do i mean a much better uh, intent much higher intent than i do on just regular facebook lead forms facebook lead forms cost less money per lead it's like the, the cpl is lower but the cost per acquisition i found is actually lower with this so what you're going to have to do as well is add a pixel to the add, add your facebook pixel to this page here so that you can have your leads tracked from Facebook to your landing page here. So I'm going to show you how we do that here. Okay. So the first step here is to make a uh, conversion campaign in Facebook Business Manager. So if you go through my video, how to make final expense Facebook ads, it's going to show you how to set up a Facebook Business Manager. So if you want to learn how to do that, just click on the video in the description called how to make final expense Facebook ads. It'll walk you through the whole thing. Once you have this set up, assuming that your Facebook business manager is already set up on business.facebook.com, I'm going to show you how to make a conversion campaign. Now, the difference here with a conversion campaign is that it pushes leads to an external website to complete the lead request, the information request. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example. Uh, this is what it looks like here. Okay, so on f if you use a Facebook lead generation campaign that's in that video I was just talking about, what it does is it sends the lead to an on Facebook lead generation form. So the client never leaves Facebook to fill out the form to request information from you. When you do a con conversion campaign, it sends them to an external page. And this is what the page is going to look like, okay? I'm gonna break this down in a minute here, but I just wanna show you the difference. So in a Facebook lead generation campaign, right? If it says lead generation, when you create the campaign here, lead generation says use forms, calls, or chats to gather info from people interested in your business. This one is conversions. Show your ads to people who are most likely to take action, buying something or calling you from your website. So conversion pushes them to an external landing page and lead generation keeps them on Facebook to fill out a form and create a, and, or make a phone call. Now, I've found that even though Facebook has the phone call button, it's better to push them to a conversion page 
a landing page and then prompt them to make the call from there. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, main two reasons are one, you can capture the lead, okay, so that you have their number to call back uh, and you know who it is. And then two, it's it's easier to make it way more flashy and uh, have a better call to action to get them to call in. You're not restricted by Facebook's uh, whatever they they want to they want to do. Okay, so what we do here, we're in Business Suite, and we go to All Tools, and then we're going to click on Ads Manager. So we're going to open up Ads Manager. Okay, so I'm just going to show you an example here. We are going, I can't create a campaign in there. They shut that account down. So uh, Facebook, they get moody and sometimes they'll just shut your accounts down. So what we're gonna do is click create and then we're gonna go to conversions. Okay, we're gonna hit continue. And I'm just gonna show you an example here. New conversions campaign, label it whatever you'd like. Um, it is not any special ad category. And so we're just going to go down to ad set again. Campaign is what the theme is. Ad set is where you pick your audience and your budget and uh, where the ad is going to be seen in placements. So this may seem a little redundant to you if you've already gone through my how to make final expense Facebook ads video. But I'm going to run through it again for anybody who hasn't gone through that. And maybe this will give you a refresher so that you can see how it works in conversions versus lead generation. It's very similar, but there are some little differences, uh, specifically where you have to create a pixel. Okay, Now, a pixel is a line of code that's installed in your landing page that makes it easy for Facebook to track who goes to that page. That way they can start to optimize your ads to show it to those people that are likely to click on the ad and also so it can register when a lead is generated. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So we are in the ads manager and we're gonna have them put, be pushed to a website, okay? Uh, and we're gonna have our budget, just keeping the budget the same here. We're going to say we're gonna do going to do 50 to 65 plus. I don't know what you guys like to target, but uh, that's typically what we work, 50 to 65. And we're going to do manual placements here, okay? And we're going to uncheck audience network, Instagram, and Messenger. Now, the thing is that these may change over time. Facebook's always, this looks way different from when I started doing them. And the only one that you want it to be in right now is Facebook news feed. So you're going to uncheck all these boxes here. Make sure that every box is unchecked except for Facebook news feed. Facebook news feed is just the basic feed as you're scrolling through Facebook. Okay. Okay. So that looks proper. Now, what we're going to do here as well, let's see if it lets us do this now. Create a pixel. Okay. So connect website activity using a pixel. Okay. So we're going to hit continue. We're just going to have it be pixel here. It's one of my agents. Uh, we're going to set up the pixel now, okay? And we're going to manually add pixel code to the website, okay? Now, this is super simple. So copy and paste the pixel code into the bottom of the header section of your site, just above the head tag. Okay, so that's how you create the pixel, but we're not going to install it yet. I just want to show you how you create the code that allows you to track the lead through Facebook and have Facebook register it as a lead and optimize your ads and all that stuff. I'm going to show you how to install that once I've created the landing page. Okay. So we're just going to do basic ad here. I'm just going to put a, a random one. Let's do uh, the JVE, whatever. And single, and we're going to add an image and let's do um, uh, Account images, recommended images, page images. Well, obviously what you'll want to do is put a image of a casket or burial or something like that. But I'm just putting a random image here so that for time's sake so that you can uh, we can get through this here. What I like to do is put pictures of like a, a headstone with flowers or a casket, something like that. Okay. So we're going to just do uh, use my final expense Facebook ad template, which you will be able to find in the description of the video. We're just going to put that there. 
and to headline, which by the way, that website is in the description here. I have examples of all the different ads, headlines, call to actions, calls to action, stuff like that. So we're just going to uh, go through here. We're gonna go seniors, 2022 benefits update. Okay, call to action is learn more. I found that's always the best one. Okay, so we're gonna send them to a website. So um, now we are, the ad is set up and it is ready for us to publish, but we have to create our website first. So I'm gonna spoil you guys here, okay? I created this in Unbounce. So what you wanna do, you wanna go to unbounce.com and you want to create an account. So I'm going to click log in here. And once you're logged in, uh, but what I'm going to show you how to do here is how to install the pixel that we were talking about beforehand. All right, so we're going to go back to new conversions, add set, okay? And we're going to hit create pixel, okay? Uh, manually add pixel code to website. So we're going to click this here, copy this. Then we go to our unbounce pages. You're on page here. All you have to do is click JavaScripts, FB Pixel. So you're just gonna copy and paste it. That's all. I named it FB Pixel, okay? But you're gonna add a script, add a script or JavaScript one, okay? You just paste that, what they gave you there. And I'm gonna name it FB Pixel, Facebook Pixel. What this will do, it will tell Facebook someone made it to this website, okay? Now, they don't know if someone actually filled out a lead form, but what they do know is if someone made it to the thank you page. And the only way that you can make it to the thank you page is if you fill out a lead form. So it's kind of like a backwards way of figuring out that someone completed a lead. So now we're gonna go and add event code. So manually add an event code. Now an event code is when the lead is generated. There's a bunch of different events here, but what we're gonna do, we are going to go into financial services and we are gonna go down to lead. Okay, you're gonna click on lead, and then all you're gonna do here is click copy to clipboard, and we're gonna go back here and click JavaScript, JavaScript one, and you're gonna have your Facebook pixel code, and then all you're gonna, you're gonna paste the Facebook pixel code, and then you're just gonna put this here. So this is just saying Facebook track the lead, okay? That's all it is, um, and that, that's all, okay? You're gonna keep this default here before body and tag. And then this one will have a uh, default as well before body and tag. Okay, so that's that. Uh, it's super simple, straightforward to install the, the that. Okay, cool. So now we hit done, okay? And what we're gonna do is choose conversion event lead. Uh, we have to cop, we have to copy the we're gonna save this here. We're gonna go back and we are going to get the actual website. Okay, we're going to, to copy this website here. Copy ads manager and we're going to go to new conversion ad. And we are going to go to website and we're gonna put the website URL here. So when someone clicks on learn more, it's gonna kick, click them to this. So we're gonna hit publish. We're gonna publish this page as well. That way the page is published and it will be active for a lead to fill out, okay? So here we go, preview URL, yep, boom. So it worked, okay? Let's reload this here and see if it registers. I don't wanna publish it because I just can't because I don't want it to throw off the other ads I have in this account and have them, you know, whatever I, I want. But you guys get the idea, okay? Uh, website, there's the website. We're gonna make sure that the pixel was um, iOS 14.5, whatever. Okay, so cool. So that's that um, and it should be good to go. So you'll hit next. And we have we already have it set up uh, conversions, track conversions, nine standard events. We already did that. We did it with the lead. So the event code is in our um, cool. And we're here, and we are at here, and then you'd hit publish, 
and you would be good to go on your uh, Facebook conversion landing page. Okay, that way, someone goes here, you, you're going to want to rename it to, I'll, I'll have in the downloadable one that I'll send you, I'll have it be like, um, well, you, you'll do it differently on your own page. We can't have the same website name. Uh, but that's essentially what it's going to look like. They're going to go there, and then they're going to fill out the form. And with that, you're going to be able to get leads. Now, what you have to do here is you have your Zapier account, okay? And you are going to connect your Zapier account with Unbounce, just like we did with the other, uh, with the other, uh, the Facebook lead in the other video. So we're going to hit Create Zap, okay? And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create an app event. We're going to connect Unbounce, okay? Trigger event new form submission. So instead of doing Facebook lead forms, we're going to have Unbounce be the trigger. We're going to choose this here. Set up trigger. Landing page. Default client. And then the landing page is going to be the state approved burial programs copy one. Whatever the, you name your page, that's what it's going to be. Okay. Test trigger. Okay, it worked. And then we're going to have it, you can have it sent in an email to yourself. So you're going to be send email. You hook up your email and you're going to have it sent to yourself. So I'm going to send to JVE at the JVE.com. And do, 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 subject, new conversion lead. And then in the body, you're just going to have name, phone, state. Name. Oh, no. Data name, phone. I'm going to do phone number, state. of residence. There we go. Cool. And then you hit continue. And then we are going to test and continue. And we'll see if this gets emailed over to us here. I'm going to go to my JVE. Yep, it came in. So if you look, uh, I just got an email. It says new conversion lead. And it came over. So that's that. And then you would hit on. You turn this on. And then anytime someone from here goes on your ad and they fill out this form, then it's going to go right to your phone. And if you put the phone number in there as your phone number, you're going to get a bunch of calls coming in from Facebook. And these are the absolute best lay down lead I've ever worked aside from a regular TV lead coming.